Dude, so don't you find it <clears throat> interesting that this um, simulation theory, I mean, it's, it's basically left-wing creationism, right? Because it's like left-wing, you know, nerds, computer scientists, right? Uh, humanitarians, you know, and growing up, we would make fun of like the right wing fundamental Christian creationists, you know, intelligent design. But isn't that what simulation theory boils down to, right? That there's an intelligent design, or even if you do the kind of postmodern, uh, you know, enough with over enough time, you know, monkeys in a room will type out Shakespeare. So even if there's no designer, the chaotic nature of the universe could deal a perfect deck that results in a simulation, right? But whether it's um, left-wing simulation theory or right-wing simulation theory, aka intelligent design, right? The mechanism is still memory. And here's what's fascinating. Even if, or let's just say, there's no simulation theory at all, and it, it is what it is, okay? this being the one existence that that is either way it's memory that is the vehicle for the simulation i mean let me put it this way if we have a conversation about high school right we're relating to each other along certain points or nodes of memory and if one of us has faulty memories the relation the conversation isn't going to work. You know, I, I witnessed this, this, uh, this morning, my mom was talking to her sister-in-law and my mom was perhaps misremembering stuff from India a long time ago. And you could tell the sister-in-law that's in India right now is, is a little frustrated, right? In the conversation. And so this is where that holographic layer, okay, is just so vital to filling in those memory gaps. I mean, if I'm talking to you and I'm hazy about, you know, oh, Mr. Bowen or Mr. Wu, who did I have first? And, you know, and then you're trying to clarify. On the other hand, if while I'm talking to you, I have the heads up display that shows me clearly, you know, oh, I had Mr. Bowen first and then Mr. Wu, ninth grade, 10th grade, whatever, you know, there's no confusion over this stuff. So it's just so obvious what that holographic layer would be about and that it's always under the control of the user. That's why I don't understand the, this, this. It's a false, what I call, or what has been called the Hegelian dialectic, a false dialectic over, oh, is an automated car safer for humans, you know, or is automation safer or is AI better? And that to me is just such a false construct because any tool you know, requires an operator. And if the operator can't stop using that tool, then it's not a tool, it's a trap. So to be very clear with our grammar or our lexicon, I guess, you know, um, what are we talking about? You know, matrix systems that are gonna entrap people or tools that empower them to accomplish a given task. And so this holographic layer is all assistive, but if I don't need it or it's getting in the way or whatever, you know, I, I, I just turn it off, you know, and I go back to my analog data set. And um, as long as I'm, and so the, and the holographic layer should always be, I mean, this whole recursive algorithm is to make you a better human being. And being a better human being has to do with eating well, sleeping well, you know, having a healthy diet and, and a large part of it is exercise more than maybe any of the other things. You know, oxygen goes where blood flows. And if you're not pumping that blood, if you're not getting the heart pumping, I mean, to enable the blood flow, then you're, you're, you're an atrophy. And the paradox is the kind of false ego or our, you know, uh, entropy state doesn't want to get out. I mean, who, who, who wakes up in the morning and they just jump out of bed like a sprig twig or whatever, you know, it doesn't happen that way. You have to develop a sort of pattern, <clears throat> excuse me, where you're geared to it. And in fact, in my current system of cycling, I have to take a day off in between. So maybe I'm doing weights, you know, a day after I, I, I ride my bike, you know, but even the weightlifting, I have to work on that system, you know, because it can get, I mean, you can just, develop this entrenched 
you know, binge on Netflix all day long. I mean, rather than work out, there are just a thousand things you can do rather than exercise. And so, and, and in the elder stage, it's like, oh, what pill can I take? What device can I purchase? You know, what shortcut to my health can I gain? And that thinking is so retrograde, right? Because, you know, if you have some uh, Darth Vader bionic replacement, that's all good and well. But if you can avoid it, right? If you can, you know, fix the existing system, it's just, we're talking a matter of efficiency here, right? I mean, until there's some, you know, bionic replacement that's all set, you know, and done for, you know, we're not there yet. And we may never be. And that just may not be a desired end, you know, or, or it's only, you know, the next phase where this body is just beyond repair. But while it can be repaired, I mean, this is what we're leaving out of this whole thing is when you go up, when you, when you ride up a hill, you're building up all this potential energy, okay? And the feeling of release when you come down the hill, the kinetic energy may sort of end at the bottom of the hill, but there's like an internal, internal gear that picks up. Excuse me. And so what I'm trying to say is just well known to anyone that works out or exercises. I mean, afterwards, they feel better. You know, even someone like my dad that doesn't exercise often. I mean, afterwards, he just feels better. He looks better. He sounds better. You know, so this holographic layer, this recursive layer is is or program or technology is about bringing you back to the source, motivating you to further improve your exercise routine and just be a better human being. You know, whether there's a coronavirus or the globe is heating up or there, you know, whatever's happening, you can't deal with it unless you are in an alert state, right? And so, um, you know, I, I just, whether we're living in a simulation or not, I mean, that's, and again, I just, I mean, I don't see the difference between debating that and intelligence design and Christian fundamentalists. <clears throat> I think you're kind of, I mean, we get into that space, but it's still about memory, you know? And so, I mean, are we rebelling against the designer or are we transcending the designer or are we understanding the designer? Like in the matrix, you know, and becoming one with the designer, right? Um, Bottom line, though, you're not going to improve the design unless you have the memory clear, you know. And so this holographic layer right now, I'm, I realize I'm, I'm abstracting it just by using these, these notes on the iPhone, you know, and, um, and, and just improving the communication. So the less miscommunication you have, the less downtime you have, and you're literally creating useful time. And that useful time is, I, I, I would argue, the most precious resource because useful time enables everything else. Then you can build a machine, you can plant seeds, you know, or sprout seedlings or whatever. You're doing something useful with that time. But if you're losing time because of miscommunication, because you said something and the other person didn't hear it, you know, um, whereas, and then you thought they did, and then problems result from that, you know. Um, it just, this is, this is this end stage of life, you know, and uh, it can all be healed. I mean, the power of the, of these smartphones can, can deal with all this stuff. So it's just um, finally tapping into these technologies, you know, the right way. And um, I mean, right now I, the first or the plugin I'm working on, so I already made an, a plugin uh, for bubble that automatically syncs the input fields with a URL parameter. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, that should de significantly decrease database usage. And in theory, I'm, I'm thinking someone could fill out a home loan application and literally copy paste the URL. Um, and then any agent could, you know, I mean, they have basically their application in the URL, you know, but the other thing I'm, I'm, hoping I can pull off is a plugin that works with pusher for the notifications, you know, and that's really the big thing with my mom, you know, is an automatic notification that lets them know I'm going on my bike ride, you know, 
so I don't end up in this trap where I talk to my mom. She says, okay, you're going on your bike ride. And then I go and then, you know, I come back home and it's like, oh, you didn't tell us, you know? And so, um, yeah, I could just do a text message or whatever, but like a simple status update, something that gets pushed, you know, the push notifications to the phones. Um, this is, yeah, this is what's up. This is what's up on a Friday night.